office layout. The blueprints show the office from the beginning of the game, the path from Stanley's office to the two doors was the first part of the game that was built. Sections have been added on added and altered throughout development, though the core layout remains almost identical to the first iteration. Oh, I can't jump over. You can't jump. <laughs> Just got that then. Corridor. The pacing of this opening scene was important to get right. This corridor has been moved and altered to make sure the player reaches the two doors in a good time. Filing cabinets. Mm. Office computers. <gasps> Solitaire. Oh. Wait. Wasting energy. I mean, really. Oh, it's right. Off. The set of two open doors was the very first concrete piece of the Stanley Parables design. Once this room was created, the rest of the, the game emerged as an extension of it, an exploration of the contradiction this room posed. Oh my god! Stupid doors. Button sounds. Selection of the sounds used throughout the game was buttons pressed. Each sound is a mix of keyboard stroke and synthesized tone. <laughs> That's an awesome way to have credits. Greenlight. In September 2012, we submitted the Stanley Parable to Greenlight. Valve's process of approving games for Steam. The Greenlight page is only it's only a series of cryptic photos, which was still enough to win the community's approval. Tron. I have no idea what the hell this is. Warzone. Early in development, we designed an ending where Stanley would end up on a battlefield fighting aliens. That would be interesting. The action game would become sentient and would wage war against the narrator. We realized shortly after starting to build it that it was far too jokey and on the nose for the tone of the game. Plus, some people interpreted it as making fun of people who like shooters, which was not our intention. New result. Subject. Wow. Ah. Chatty time with boxing gloves on. Narrator emails. After the second trailer we sent out, we asked people to email their narrator qu for questions. While we had initially planned to use these in further promotion material, we never found the perfect use for them. Here are a selection of those emails. So these are actually emails people have sent in. How do you stay in shape? Greetings, omnipotent point voice. I wanted to tell you I like the Stanley Parable as much as I like seeing humorously small. Oh. The new lounge is way better. Oh my God! Four choices. Which way do I go? 
Oh, the phone. The apartment timer is a previous version of choice leading into the apartment ending. A timer would give you 15 seconds to pick up the phone. Not picking up the phone would lead to a different ending. This second version is functionally the same as what's in the final game, but we wanted it to look more like like a place where cargo was actually stored. Cargo lift. The cargo lift was always intended to have the choice of staying on or jumping to a different path. However, after this early version was decided, we also wanted the option of players failing falling to their death. That's an option? I want to fall to my death. Disobey, obey, staircase, lounge, maintenance. Oh, they all up, end up in maintenance. So I got the confusing ending to confusion ending. The other entrance would be hidden depending on how you entered. The game is now paused. Begin the game again. Resume the game. Options return to game. For a long time, we had an ending that only ended when the player restarted from the escape menu. Unfortunately, very few players realized this was what they were supposed to do, which was frustrating for everyone. It sounds, yeah, interesting. This screenshot depicts an early version of the ending known as Zending, which was eventually cut and merged with another part of the game. Zending levers. These levers were originally a part of the Zending. The player would pull a lever and the narrator would describe what color lever they had pulled. What's over here? This place is so huge. One of the deaths for an early version of the countdown. This is the freedom ending as it exists in beta. It's pretty awesome. Monitor room elevator. For a time, the elevator in the monitor room could only go down, with freedom above and count down below. We banned this when players found it difficult to remember what was up and what was down, and placed the two endings together instead. Early version of the countdown room. This is the level that William, the level designer, sent Davy the writer as a kind of audition piece. The strength of this level got William hired to design the full game. Though much of the environment has changed, the basic layout from the mock-up is still in the game. Such awesome, awesome environment. Stanley's office. From left to right, the evolution of Stanley's office over time. The first was created in November 2011, the second in March 2012, and the third in February 2013. I think I might have missed some down here.
This was the very first incarnation of the freedom ending ending in the game. Huh? God, get over there. It's a nice clock. Oh. Screens from the development of the boss's office. Employee lounge? Underground, the early version of the underground portion of the game. Kevin Brighting, the voice of the narrator, recorded dialogue from the entire game roughly three separate times over the two years of development. These are clips from early takes that were not used in the final game. That narrator is amazing. I think I'm done. Just gotta go to that ending now. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Yes, I do. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No. No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. Okay. But listen to me. You can still save these two. What? You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this. Oh. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, I wonder if it actually does something different if you press quit. Oh, I'm gonna press quit. be walking someone else's path. Stop now, that will be your only true choice. Whatever you oh do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time choose. I chose time. I thought time's good. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> Black screen. That's good. Well, I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed my Let's Play of Stanley Parable. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.